Jeopardy, everyone! This is Jeopardy! Please welcome today's contestant. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You all look eager to get underway, so let's get right into it. And we start the Jeopardy round categories with this one. 80s music. Thomas Paine said, What's the word? Arachnids. Party. And in the bookstore. Okay, let's get this large, hairy type of spider. Takes its name from an Italian town. It's player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direct. <laughs> Good. You get to pick again. Texas cattle fever is one of many diseases transmitted by the bite of this type of blood-sucking arachnid. Okay, player one. Yeah! That's right, way to go. You again, player one. At least two types of poison are known to be injected by its tail stinger, hemotoxin and neurotoxin. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. Select again. Also known as the Harvest Man, this spindly arachnid differs from spiders in that it has only a single body segment. Yes, player one. That's correct. Player one. Arachnids are a major class of this phylum that includes insects and crustaceans. It's player one. That's it. Please pick again, player one. The Greg Kin Band was singing our song, crooning, Our Love's in This, Baby. Okay, player one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> player one. In 1984, his Let's Go Crazy said, We are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. life. Player one? You are correct. We return to you. She told us, love is a battlefield. And in 1980, went to number nine with, hit me with your best shot. Yes, player one. That's correct. Player one? In 1981, Sheena Easton sang, my baby takes the this. He works from 9 till 5, and then he takes another home again. Let's hear it, player one. Hey, you're right. Player one. It's the Daily Double. And you're in the lead now. What will it be? And the clue. Well, I talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Lip Sync asked, won't you take me to here? You have maintained your lead. Way to go. Player one. Pick a the Teammates by David Halberstam chronicles the friendships of Ted Williams and others on this team. Yes, player one. Good for you. Player one. John Grisham switched gears with skipping this holiday about a couple who want to skip the consumerism. It's player one. Right. We return to you. The Devil in the White City examines murder, magic, and madness at the 1893 World's Fair in this U.S. city. Let's hear it, player one. No. 
Any other takers? We're talking about Chicago. Choose again, player one. In a Stephen King book, writer Paul Sheldon is weary of this title heroine he created. Okay, player one. Good. You get to pick again. Appropriately, part three of this 1953 novel is Burning Bright. Player one? Yes. Player one? Paper gifts are the traditional gifts at the party for this anniversary of a married couple. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. That is correct. You again, player one. The British passed 1774's intolerable acts to punish Massachusetts for a party in its harbor. Yes, player one. <laughs> right. Please pick again. It's the beverage that would be most appropriate at the wild, riotous bacchanalia we've got planned. Player one. Right you are. Player one. Oktoberfest is a 16-day party held every year in this Bavarian city. Okay, player one. Oh. Anyone else? It's player two. That's not it. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Okay, player three. That is correct. Select again. In Mexico, a quinceanera is a girl's coming of age party on this birthday. Yes, player one. Yep. Please pick again, player one. The crisis number one begins. These are the times that try men's these. It's player one. Good. <laughs> Select again. The fate of Charles I hath only made these individuals more subtle, not more just. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. You get to pick again, player No one. man was a warmer wisher for reconciliation than myself before the fatal 19th of this month, 1775. Player one. Oh. Yes. We return to you. In The Rights of Man in 1791, Paine wrote, The cause of the rebellion in this country is that of the whole world. Okay, player one. Oh. Right. You again, player one. This basic document is the property of a nation and not of those who exercise the government. Yes, player one. Yes. Choose again, player one. On a snail, an omatophor is a stalk with this at the end. It's player one. Good. Player one. If you set some Chinese punk on fire, it's because Chinese punk is this from the Latin for set on fire. Let's hear it, player one. Right. Player one, pick again. Kelly? When light passes through a prism, it splits into its various colors, the visible one of these. Player one? Whoa! 
That's right, way to go! Player one? It's the medium on which you're traveling if you're in a hoy. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. And here's the thousand dollar clue. If you've got quinsy, also known as tonsillitis, you've got swelling in this part of your body. It's player one. Yeah, good. Player two, you're going first in the double jeopardy round when we return. Categories for the Double Jeopardy round are What the H? Note the quotation marks. Fish, bird, or mammal? Top 40 hit makers. The continent. States of the Union. And conductors. Player 2. You're in last place, which means you get to select first in Double Jeopardy. On January 10th, 2010, this island republic was struck by a devastating earthquake. Yes, player one. Yeah. Yes. Player one. It's the HT in HTTP and HTML. Player one. Oh. Nope. Any other takers? Here's the response we were looking for. Hypertext. We return to you, player one. Olympic event won twice by Jackie Joyner Kersey. Okay, player one. Good. Choose again, player one. In the 18th century BC, he wrote down his famous list of do's and don'ts. It's player one. Select again. Used in marching bands, it's a large bass tuba that encircles the player's body. Let's hear it, player one. Oh. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Player two. Oh. Ooh, sorry, that's incorrect. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player three. Right you are. Player three, pick again. The skate. Okay, player one. No. Anyone else? Yes, player two. That is correct. You get to pick again, player two. The Tarsier. Okay, player one. Sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the correct response. A mammal. Please pick again. Player two. Answer. The first of the daily doubles. Player two. You're in last place. What'll it be? Give us a wager. Player Answer. two. A honey creeper. Hey, you're right. Player two. Back to you for our next selection. The bongo. Player one. You got it. You again, player one. The cichlid. Let's hear it, player one. Yep. Player one. 
You pick again, please. In concerts, Stokowski would dramatically toss these aside to show that he could conduct from memory. It's player one. Oh, sorry. Any other takers? The correct response is scores. Player one, back to you. Marin Alsop made news in 2005 as the first one of these to lead a major American symphony orchestra. Okay, player one. Right. Select again. Willem Mengelberg and Edward van Bynum have been chief conductors of this city's Concertgebouw. Yes, player one. No. Anyone else? Here is what we wanted. Amsterdam. Please pick again, player one. An 1831 play by Pushkin recounts an alleged rivalry between Mozart and this composer. Let's hear it, player one. Good for you. We return to you, player one. On CDs with Canada's National Arts Center Orchestra, Pinkus Zuckerman conducts and plays this. It's player one. You are correct. You again, player one. Where the Latter-day Saints believe that Zion or New Jerusalem will be built. Player one. That is correct. Player one, back that can be typed using a single row of letters on a standard keyboard. Okay, player one. Yes. Player one, back that extends down to about 54 degrees south latitude. Yes, player one. That's it. Choose again, player one. With the most countries. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. You get to pick again with the first country alphabetically. It's player one. Correct. Player one. Let's take it over to Kelly. This state's flag featuring the Big Dipper was designed by a 13-year-old Alut boy. Player one. Yeah. Correct. Player one. With a population of about 120,000, Colombia is this state's most populous city. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. That's right. Way to go. Please pick again. Mississippi and it have the shortest coasts on the Gulf of Mexico, only about 50 miles apiece. Player one. That is correct. Player one. This state has the highest average altitude of any state east of the Mississippi. Must be pretty mountainous. Okay, player one. That's correct. You get to pick again. Tears were shed when the Teddy Bear Museum in Naples in this state closed its doors forever in 2005. It's player one. You are correct. Player one. 1230. Young girls are coming to the canyon. And California dreaming. Yes, player one. That's correct. Choose again, player. Brother Love's Traveling Salvation Show and Sweet Caroline. Okay, player one. Yes. 
We return to you. What would you say? And crash into me. Player one. Yeah. You got it. You again, player one. Saturday night special and woo, free bird. Let's hear it, player one. Right. And now the $2,000 clue. Woo. And sir, the second daily double. You are in the lead right now. So what's your wager? Okay, here is the clue. Harry Truman and 25 or 6 to 4. That puts you even further ahead. Sorry, player two. Your score is not on the positive side, so you will not be joining us for Final Jeopardy. Here's the Final Jeopardy category. Organizations. So, what's your wager? Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. And the last clue? In 2003, Allied Command Europe and Allied Command Atlantic, parts of this organization, merged. And your response? With that correct <laughs> response, you will gain What did you put as your response? And oh, that will set no. you back. Congratulations, Woo! player one. You're the winner. We'll see you all next time.